mechanical modeling is very handy when it comes time to develop the product. It allows you to get very close tolerances and to make sure that what you're developing is really what comes out in the end when you produce the product. But the only real true way to know is to create the environment the product's going to be in the field. When it comes to seismic and performance, we feel very confident the only way you're really going to know how the unit performs is to do shake table testing. It's becoming a real standard. We're the only people that have shake table tested um, evaporative cooling equipment. For 30 seconds, the piece of equipment is subjected to a real earthquake simulation. It's exactly what a piece of equipment might expect to be subjected to in a real earthquake. There's some apprehension as to whether or not the unit will survive and make it through the test. And so we run it maybe at 1G, 1.5 Gs, 2 Gs. So the time, by the time we get to 2.5 Gs and try to qualify it at that higher level, it's already been through three or four earthquakes before we've even put it up to that highest level. Accelerations that are subjected to, I've been surprised to see how well performing these units are. They just come through these tests on the other side with, you know, virtually and no issues at all. You don't realize how much force there is with an earthquake until you see how much one of these pieces of equipment moves when it's actually on the table and, uh, and how long it's subjected to that force. So it, it really reinforces our opinion that, boy, how could you do this by analysis if you really didn't see how this thing moves on a table like that? Uh, on every one of the tests that I've observed with BAC, they've come out successful, and it's been fun to come, o you know, come over to the specimen and walk through the cooling tower and look for damage and really have to struggle to try to find any, even when subjected to those large seismic loads. It's very difficult, in particular with equipment like we make, that has moving parts to, to verify that the unit will function after an earthquake by any other means. And so we're really working to the intent of the code, which is to make sure a building is functional after an event, after an earthquake. California Building Code says that for a, for a piece of equipment to be seismic, uh, receive that special seismic certification, it has to prove to be operational after it's been subjected to the simulation earthquake. When you do actual shake table testing, you're taking the assumptions away. It's really irrefutable evidence that the particular product can meet the seismic requirements that are required in the project. So we can save a tremendous amount of time, effort, and energy on a project because there's no paperwork to go through to get our equipment approved. If I need a piece of equipment that I want to depend on, I know is reliable, I want the kind of demonstrated track record that BAC can bring to the table to be sure that I'm going to be specifying for my clients the right level of quality for that type of building. We know that the equipment out there is going to work, it's going to perform, and we can give that assurance to the customer and we can sleep at night because we have done our homework and have done it right.